Betty Club, it is your gal Pixie, and I dyed my hair in impulse again, but I really like it. Um, I literally just, like, I bleached my hair because I couldn't handle my roots anymore, so I did my roots, and then I just, like, took three colors and I went to town, but I really like it. And that has inspired me to instantly film as many videos as I can so that it doesn't fade so that I can not look like garbage on my channel. So I'm gonna do not really a remake, but I'm gonna do another hair video for you guys. I did one a way a while back. Um, my cat is here. I love him so much. He is not usually here. Hello, sweet boy. Oh my God, there's two cats on my bed. Oh, what do I do? And I just really wanted to play around because I cut my hair even shorter. Um, it's like floaty above my shoulders now, which is nice. Uh, so I wanted to really experiment. I've been trying more different styles and seeing like how far can I push the boundaries um, of having hair that is above shoulder length. So if you guys have pretty colored hair or short hair or I guess any hair at all, um, these might be fun to try. So we're just gonna have a little a little braid train. We're gonna have a hair date today. And these are hairstyles that I would consider party k in that sort of genre uh, party k is what i call my own personal style um a lovely shining mystery human being also put it on the japanese fashion wikipedia which makes me i did cry actually it was very nice i did a blog post on it but that's really really outdated and the art on it doesn't like really match what the actual style is but the images do is my issue <laughs> because my i was so stuck in my own like drawn art style that I was like this has to look like my art art style and then it made the fashion look wrong anyway but these hairstyles could definitely also work in other fashions um that are similar like fairy k like pop k like peko k other things like that but party k is just what I like to call my own personal style because I find it doesn't really fit under any other umbrella what a bing, what a bam, what a big a boo. <laughs> boo, who am I? So I have a lot of fun accessories that I'm going to be playing around with. Ah, uh, my battery's gonna die and that's very upsetting, but how far can we make it with this? Let's see. Other people have also made, there's a Party K Worldwide community, there's a Party K Instagram, there's a couple Party K Tumblrs, so just there's other people that are doing wonderful things with the style that is definitely like on the mark exactly what I wanted to be. So I'm gonna be showing you guys some hairstyles that could work in that fashion with short colorful hair or probably long hair would also work as well. In my style, I really like to play around with different textures and stuff. So I love like velvet and sequins and like sparkly chunky knits and like glitter and ribbons and that sort of thing. So I've been wearing this iridescent glittery sequin scrunchie way too much like every day but i love it to bits so i guess this counts as a style this is how i wear my hair like almost every day um but you because that means i don't have to straighten the top of it so the way i dyed my hair this is gonna look hilarious because it hasn't been straightened so it's like a big old fluffy what's going on but um the way i dyed my hair is that i did it like pink, blue, and purple, all pastels around and then in the bangs, but then I left the top blonde. I kinda wanna, wow, that's a look. I kinda wanna do the top as well, but we're gonna heck and see. Okay, this first one like probably doesn't even count as a look and it's really sad, <laughs> but I'm just gonna take a sparkly little like I don't even know, elastic sort of thingy. And I'm just gonna tie my hair back pretty far back because the important piece, the star of the show is this adorable Claire's Valentine's Day headband. I love it, it's unreal, it is so cute. It is a perfect rainbow, I freaked out when I saw it in the store. So this, does this count as a hairstyle? I don't know, but I love this look so much, I couldn't include it even though I literally just put a headband on, but or yeah, I wear it quite forward because when I do videos, I like it to be like very visible or you could wear it like a normal headband, like that. 
So yeah, um, look one question mark. Eh. I just love this. I just love it so much. I feel like this was made for me. It's unreal. They have it at Claire's Accessories right now. It's for Valentine's Day. Go snag it up. It's really cute. And tell them that Pixie Locks sent you. Please and thanks. <laughs> I'm kidding, you don't have to do my bidding. This is another super duper simple one that I really like and it also kind of plays on the kitsch factor. Um, kitsch is like, I think, one of my favorite words of all time. It is basically, I'm sure a lot of you know already what kitsch is, but kitsch is basically something that is so tacky and ugly or outdated that it becomes cool or it's worn in such a way that it is fashionable and a lot of party k is based on the kitschness so -ba -ba -bam. i'm going to use the matching clears accessories i swear this is not sponsored i just really like sugary hearts these little rainbow sugar heart barrettes barrettes are amazing you can also use other like glittery colorful any kind of barrette my issue is that i buy 100,000 of these and then lose all of them i desperately need to like get a pouch or like not throw them on the floor every night when i'm in bed and i'm just like fuck it i'm tired um because all of my issues come from being lazy but yes, the kitsch factor comes in with the middle part. Do you remember like five-ish years ago? Maybe this is still a thing now. I don't know. I have fallen out of the mainstream fashion loop where the middle part was like almost a meme. It was so dreaded. They're like, ooh, middle part. Like, ooh, do do do. Cause side parts were so in. And like even straight down bangs were also like sort of a meme cause they were so bad. And now it's everywhere, I think. Our middle parts still taboo. So the way I did my bangs is like, I did them also in a pastel -y rainbow way. And so the other day when I did this, it looked really cool. And now I do not know if I'm going to be able to recreate that or if it's just gonna look weird as heck. So I just like to pull it as far as I gosh dang can. Pull it super duper tight and I try and like sneak it. Okay, if my hair wasn't half up because I only straightened half of it for this video because I'm awful, that I would sneak this like underneath the top layer of my hair. And that's because the top layer of my hair is really annoying and shorter than the rest of it and I hate it and I want all of my hair to be one length and that is why I always wear the top half up but a bing bada boom because I'm still growing it out but this is a really cute style if you can get them to match again this is super duper simple a lot of my hairstyles are very heavily accessorized right like it's not like a fishtail braid with a one-fourth inch curling wand and amazing blonde highlights it's like diet rainbow and then put hearts in it but a bing bada boom there you go i love this it's just like hello i am a small art student here for the party i love them and you can do this with non candy heart ones as well if you don't lose them all like me wowza all right we're gonna get into the more funzo ones so i'm gonna be putting my hair in a bun for these last two if you want to see me actually use irons and like do slightly more things that take more effort instead of just like sheer you know what i mean accessorizing um in my video i did before there's like braiding and i used a crimping iron and i like bleep, 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 bleep. but for this one this is gonna be like more just what i do every day also i'm obsessed with how this hair looks when it's up it's unreal so i'm gonna be using my trusty scrunch and doing a bun as high up as i possibly can without all of my hair falling out because it's shoulder length. Okay, cute in the front, murder me in the back. My camera battery just died and I had to wait a while for it to charge back up, so sorry if anything suddenly is weird. However, back to the bun. Just gonna slide her up there in a big cheeky bun. And I know that this is a style that's been done 
in a few other fashions for sure but i just love these clips so much these little heart ones that i've been really enjoying um clipping them all into the back of my head i try and separate it into two um just because my hair is so short that if i don't then it slides out it slides out anyway but slides out more and i do it in a little pattern so the hearts are always on the outside Am I missing anything tragic? And if you need any more, you can use clips that don't necessarily match. As long as they're all cute, then you are so good to go. Am I like vaguely in the middle? Ugh. So I just slid a couple more that weren't necessarily matching in so that it was more of a decora-ish party central get together. I don't know, I just really like it. And it also helps my hair stay up and not look like a really unfortunate mullet. Ooh. This last look, I'm actually just gonna leave those in because it's also a bun and you can never have too much boom hitting the lamp. You can never have too much going on in my books. This last one we are gonna go full wacky. We are gonna go full oh my god. Pixie Locks is a bitch, she spends all her money at the Dollarama, but I don't care, I love it! So we are going to use actual curly whirly ribbony ribbony. I've done this a couple times with other like party gift bows, um, just when I'm doing other coordinates, but I haven't like done it online, which is surprising. But this is like, I wouldn't do this on the daily because it's like not official, not the sturdiest thing in the world, but definitely if you're going to a convention, um, if you're going to a meetup, if you're going out on the town and just want to like be extra cute, literally any time actually is what I'm saying, um, this can be really easy to do. Literally just take a bobby pin. I mean, I could like reinforce this and make it extra fancy, but people are gonna get so mad at me for this. And slide that bad boy on your head. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I know not everyone's gonna think that's cute, but I don't know, especially for like a photo shoot, I just think it's like, it's an extra little pop of rainbow party fantastico. I just think it's cute. With that, I'm gonna show you a couple. You can also put that ribbon right on your head. Um, right on your head. You can pin it to your scrunchie. I'm just gonna pin that right into my scrunchie. You can also put a hair pin on the back of it if you wanna wear it like that frequently. Ooh, but I think that is super, oh, actually, I think that's really cute. Oh no, I like it a lot. Oh no, I like it a lot. So yeah, I just, I don't know, I like decorating buns. You can also put this like more so on the back so it doesn't look like quite so exuberant right on the front there. But I guess this is just a couple of fun hairstyles I've been enjoying doing. I also really like using pom-poms and fluff and sequins and velvet and rainbows and ribbons and holographic stuff. I'm a very multi-textural lady. Basically, I don't know, I feel like hair is like such an important part of the whole outfit and like the head accessories, especially because I do YouTube because like you guys don't know what I'm wearing on my legs. Am I wearing anything? Yes, but they're incredibly boring black leggings because I'm at home and I just woke up. But yeah, especially, especially, <coughs> Especially being on YouTube where like you can see this much, I find like earrings and hair and like is very important. And you can just get so carried away. Like I clearly do. With this this shit. Oh my god, I'm a birthday party. So yeah, just like a really solid statement headband, a really solid statement scrunch. It's all in the way that you use it and also the color helps too. Please ignore like the definite purple blotches that are here because I did my bangs after I did everything else and I was like so done with trying to be neat and tidy. This video's featured confetti club member is Smile Flower on Instagram. Here she is looking really freaking cute in her throw kindness around like confetti tea. I love you so much. I love your pic. I love your face. I hope you're having a great day. Again, if you guys do want to be a featured Confetti Club member, all you have to do is tag me in a pic on Instagram. 
uh, of you in one of your confetti club slash pixie threads shirts and then I will frig you the heck up in a vid and it will be good and I love you lots and I will see you in the next video which is not this one because this one is over bye <laughs>